Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to the second edition of Orange City Literature Festival. This is organized by SGR Knowledge Foundation. I am Samar Khurana, your anchor for this session. This session is a 40 minutes, and the topic for today's session is storytelling and tips for creative writing. I am very pleased to, to welcome the speaker of this session, Sir Ramindra Kumar. Sir is a writer, a storyteller, and an inspirational speaker with 34 books for children to his name. Over the years, he has won 34 awards in the competition for writers of children's literature organized by Children's Book Trust. This tally is one of the highest won by any writer. Sir's writing has been translated into 29 languages. His stories have found a place in textbooks and anthologies in India, as well as abroad. His tales have been showcased on several prestigious online platforms such as Kahani Festival, Radio Mechi, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and many more. So has been invited to literary conferences and festivals held in Denmark, Greece, Sharjah, as well as Indian events, including the prestigious Jaipur Literature Festival. To know more about Sir, you can visit his website. You can also view his work on YouTube and connect with Sir on Facebook. We welcome, we welcome you, Sir. Over to you now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Khurana. And uh, uh, from, I would like to start by saying that uh, uh, coming to Nagpur virtually is like a homecoming for me. Because many, many years ago, I got married in Nagpur in Ari Samaj Mandir. My uh, in-laws were against the marriage, uh, but my sister and brother-in-law stay here and my father was here. So they organized this uh, marriage. So Nagpur is very, very close to my heart. I have been visiting Nagpur regularly, Sita Valley, then uh, uh, Dharampet, then Pratap Nagar, and so many lovely places in Nagpur. And even Kamti, I stayed for a few days. In Kanhan, I stayed for a few days. So the Orange City is like a second home to me. Thank you, uh, all of you, for inviting me. So I'll first start by telling you a story, a funny story, and then I'll discuss a few elements of creative writing, like character plots, etc. So to begin with, this story is called Biovisca. It's one of my most popular stories. It's been translated into many languages and uh, published all across. So this story is of a tiger whose name was Arjun. He was a lazy kind of fellow. He hated to do anything other than think about food. He would always lie in the shade of a tree and think about eating something in temptations. It's a restaurant in Nagpur. I don't know whether it is there or not now. So think about, you know, vada pav and pav bhaji and masala dosa and Kima and mutton and all that. And he, his wife was called Agni. She was an intelligent, fiery, and fast and furious tigress. And this was a love marriage. Now, I, I'm sure Mr. Khurana must be wondering that why should a lady tigress so beautiful so fast, so intelligent, so talented, marry a lazy, stupid bum like Arjun. The reason was Arjun's whiskers. He had a beautiful, magnificent set of whiskers, which were sharp and pointed. They made him look either like Amitabh Bachchan or Ranveer Singh. And Arjun's uh, girlfriend, who later became his wife, Agni, was completely obsessed with his whiskers. She fell in love with his whiskers. But she was also very possessive. And every time she went hunting, she would count the number of whiskers. And after she came back, again she would count the number of whiskers. And if there was even one whisker less, Arjun would get nothing to eat. So Arjun took good care of those whiskers. One evening, Arjun was feeling, one afternoon rather, he was feeling very uh, hungry and he wanted to eat turtle meat. So he told Agni, Agni darling, I want to eat turtle meat. Agni said, no problem my Bacha. I'll go and get turtle meat for you. And she counted 
ఒకటి రెండు మూడు నాలుగు ఐదు ఆరు ఏడు ఎనిమిది తొమ్మిది పది విచ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఇస్ దట్ మిస్టర్ ఖురానా ఐఎమ్ షూర్ యు వాంట్ బి ఏబుల్ టు గెస్ కెన్ యు గెస్ ఓకే దెన్ షీ కౌంటెడ్ ఇన్ ఉర్దూ దెన్ షీ కౌంటెడ్ ఇన్ మరాఠీ దెన్ షీ కౌంటెడ్ ఇన్ ఒడియా అండ్ దెన్ షీ ఫ్రెండ్ అండ్ నౌ వాట్ డిడ్ అర్జున్ డు హి వాస్ అగైన్ లైయింగ్ ఇన్ ద షేడ్ ఆఫ్ ద ట్రీ అండ్ డ్రీమింగ్ అబౌట్ సంథింగ్ న్యూ టు ఈట్ దిస్ టైం హి వాస్ dreaming about gulab jamun rasgulla and chicken cutlet then suddenly a wasp went and stood i mean sat on his whisker you know what a wasp is no bhavra so the wasp sat on his whisker and this fellow took a swipe the wasp flew away and along with that the whisker also flew away now arjun was scared if he loses his whisker he will not get turtle meat so he ran after the whisker like a agile cat running after a nimble mouse jaise koi billi chuhe ke piche daudti hai and he followed the whisker and the whisker got deposited on the top of the tip of the elephant whose name was bhima now arjun was scared of bhima but he had to get the whisker back so he looked here and he looked there who can help him get his whisker back back so there he saw a langur a long tailed langur swinging from a tree branch and singing to himself this langur thought he was as talented as badsha or hani singh or himesh reshmiya his name was tabla kumar so he was singing and playing the tabla then what happened our arjun tabla hey tabla what happened my whisker has you know got deposited on bhima's trunk can you get it for me why can't you get it i am scared of bhima you know many many days back i and bhima were swimming in the same jungle pond and accidentally i brushed against him and he got irritated and he gave me such a kick on my backside that i could not sit for 3 months and 4 days i had to do everything standing and my bum is still paining so i am very scared of him so please can you get me the whisker now tabla kumar was a very selfish fellow he said if i give you the whisker what will you give me so then arjun asked what do you want then tabla kumar looked here he looked there he said there the coconut tree you know that coconut tree there there are four coconuts give me those coconuts get me those coconuts and this fellow said arjun silly fellow rascal how can i get those coconuts when you cannot get no 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 you don't have to climb you only have to grab that coconut tree and shake 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 so arjun said yes i can do that he went there he grabbed the coconut tree and shake 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 he did this and the coconuts fell plunk 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 and they fell on whose head on arjun's head and he fainted now tabla kumar the langur went and got hold of the whisker from one branch to the other branch to the other branch he swung and he came to our good friend arjun and he arjun was closing his eyes and sleeping like this then what did this fellow do he shook him uh, mr khurana can you shake with me like i am shaking shake shake and you say shake 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 all your girlfriends are watching you put some energy shake 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 shake, shake, shake. yes beautiful so this fellow woke up now when a hindi film heroine wakes up after coming out from a faint what does she say what does she ask mr prana she says she asks mai kaha hu so arjun also asked where am i mai kaha hu then langur gave him the whisker so then the tiger asked arjun is saying why are you give, giving me this tiger's whisker i am a donkey He said what you are a donkey yes i am a donkey you silly monkey He said hurry then langur thought that the coconut falling on his nut must have hit him 
nut case we went to agni to complain that your uh, husband is saying that he is a donkey agni said acha all this is a dirty trick to get more share of the turtle meat i will come come and you know pull his tail and then he will be all right come look for him. let us look for him they started looking for arjun arjun in the meanwhile he was feeling very hungry so when a tiger who thinks he is a donkey feels very hungry what does he do he eats grass so he started eating grass then from the corner of his eyes he saw a movement and he looked and he saw the most beautiful the most enchanting the most gorgeous the most scintillating donkey in the world and he fell promptly completely totally in love with her the donkey's name was swapna sundari and arjun being arjun went down on one knee and said hey beautiful donkey will you marry me swapna sundari got scared how can can i can i marry you you are a tiger i am a tiger donkey that what do you mean i am a tiger tiger and you are a tiger tiger something like that i am a brave and some donkey you are a beautiful scintillating enchanting lovely donkey so let us get married come let us get married and he started moving after her and the donkey ran and ran so the sundari ran and ran and ran and ran she went to her husband whose name was bahubali now bahubali was a tall strong fellow he had just eaten 142 mangoes and braid 17 rounds of braiding and was fit and fine he had 12 laps much more than salman khan also and he was feeling very very solid so then suppose we went and said hey bahu there is a tiger who thinks he is a donkey he wants to marry me acha <laughs> he wants to marry you huh? let us see how he will marry you and then the donkey started a uh, bahubali started moving to direction and from here this fellow is coming arjun is coming singing a song some romantic song he is singing and he is coming and he sees the donkey he says oh handsome donkey did you see a beautiful donkey go this way i want to marry her acha you want to marry her but first you have to take my blessings so then arjun says oh you must be her grandfather now imagine the donkey getting so angry first he wants to marry that donkey's wife and then he is calling him a grandfather so he turned around and gave him a solid shot on his head and arjun and he fell down and he fainted in the meanwhile who all came agni the tigress tabla kumar the langur bahubali and saprasundari were there and what did they do they caught hold of arjun and they did mr kurana shake 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 you have to do it everybody is watching you shake 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 Shake, 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 agni said i will never ever trouble you about your discuss really agni you will never trouble me no because of these discuss you almost got married to a donkey i do not want that to happen so be very happy if you have one whisker two whisker or no whisker also i am not concerned you can live happily the way you want that he jumped in the air fell on his head and again he fainted and then what did mr kurana do along with mr ramendra kumar and others shake 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 thank you so that was the story now mr kurana 
what I'm going to tell you is some tips about how to write a story. What are the elements of a story? So now you tell me uh, in the story, your Sambad, no, or Sama. What is your first name? Uh, sir, Samar. Samad. Samad. So, Mr. Samad, uh, in a story, what all things uh, are there? Those uh, things which come and go, uh, it can be animals, it can be human beings, it can be tables and chairs. What are they called? Uh, characters are the most brilliant, important. Brilliant, 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 Mr. Samad. All your girlfriends will be very much important. <laughs> yes, they are called characters. So, there are three types of characters. The first character is the major character. There is some disturbance in the audio. Okay, now it's okay. So the first character is the, the most important character is the major character around whom the story revolves. He's the most important person. You can call him the hero also. So now you tell me, Harry Potter, who is the main character? Harry Potter. In Ramayana, who is the main character? Lord Ram, right? So similarly, the main character, whenever you are writing a story, you should make sure that your main character is very interesting, has got, is very believable, and the reader can connect with the main character. If they cannot connect with the main character, then your story will never be interesting or effective. That is why your main character, creation of your main character is so very important. Sometimes the main character becomes so important, so powerful, so effective, so interesting that people forget the writer, but they remember the main character. For example, in Sherlock Holmes. Now, many people remember Sherlock Holmes, but they don't remember the writer of Sherlock Holmes, Arthur Conan Doyle. So, please try to keep your main character as something, somebody very interesting and very powerful. Then you have supporting characters. These characters are not as important as the main character, but they still have a key role to play. For instance, in Ramayana, who are the supporting characters? Sita, Lakshman, Hanuman, Ravan. They play important roles, but not as important as the main character. So the way you sketch out these supporting characters also becomes very, very important. How do you integrate the main character with the supporting characters? and form a lovely plot is the key to how effective your story is going to be, how interesting your story is going to be. Then you have some chutku, butku, lullu, kuchu, kunju characters. These are the minor characters. In Ramayana, who are the minor characters? Angad, Bali, Jamvant, Suparanakha, these are the minor characters. These minor, minor characters come into the story and go out, but they are important because they add interest to the story. They add value to the story. They make the story sometimes chatpata, right? So then you have something called the plot. Plot is the narrative of the story. How the story flows, how the story moves. For instance, in Ramayana, what is the plot? Rama and Sita, they get married. Main things I'm saying. Then they go to Banvas. From Banvas, you know, Sita is kidnapped by Ravana. In, uh, Hanuman gets information. Then there is a battle between Rama and Ravana. And then Ra uh, Ram uh, Chandra vanquishes Ravana. And then they come back to Ayodhya. So this is the plot. Your plot should be engaging. It should be interesting. In children's stories, usually you have a beginning, you have a middle, and you have an end. Like in my story about this uh, donkey and a tiger, uh, the tiger who thinks he's a donkey. In the beginning, you have just the introduction of the characters, the tigress is in love with the whiskers, and then in the middle, the whisker vanishes, he tries to retrieve the whisker, and he thinks he's a, something falls on his head, the coconut, he thinks he's a donkey. And in the end, ultimately, he realizes, he gets up and he knows that he's a tiger and his wife forgives him and tells him that he can live the way he wants, he can grow as many whiskers as he wants. That is the end. The beginning, the middle and the end should be 
connected together like you have in any movie or in any story then there is something called the setting setting is where the story is placed milieu wo kahani kahan par kahi ja rahi hai body mein dharampet mein mumbai mein china mein kahan kahi ja rahi hai so you have to create that kind of setting the story the setting of my story about the tiger was the jungle so i tried to create the environment of the jungle in ramayana the setting moves from uh, lord rama's kingdom to the forest to lanka and back again so that is the setting then there is a style every writer has to develop his own style it is suddenly not come it will not come by me wearing a purple coat you know or you wearing a lovely t-shirt the style has to be developed over time and soon you will develop your own style like my style is somewhat humorous you know i write stories which are more humorous and more than serious then also the language but before language i want to go to dialogues dialogue is the conversation you are having now like the tiger and the tigers are having a conversation right the tiger and the langur are having a conversation that now why is the conversation the conversation is important because it tells you about the character what kind of a character he is he is he very extrovertish he is very shy he is very brave he doesn't care he is very dull it can tell you everything about the character secondly the dialogue moves the story forward you want to know what happened next for instance i am giving you a a sentence and then a dialogue ramendra kumar entered the room and he said oh my god how you think why did he say oh my god because mr khurana was standing there with a the hockey stick with him or mr khurana was standing there with some vada pav or pav bhaji for him oh my god see the difference so that's why the dialogue is important then it can create suspense seema walked into the jungle and as she moved suddenly she said it can never happen like this how it can never happen this what is happening why it's happening when it's happening everything through one dialogue so now let me tell you about how you can create a character give the character some flesh and some masala through dialogues now i've got two very close people in my Uh, family my chachu and my chachi now my i meet with an accident so i ring up my chachu i say chachu i met with an accident he will say he goes into details where did you meet this accident i said in dharampet oh dharampet what were you driving i was driving a motorcycle what was the color of the motorcycle i was driving a motorcycle which was yellow with green dots so at what angle where you uh, you had that crash at angle at 32 degrees see wrong stupid fellow you should always have at 45 degrees what did you crash against uh, against a lorry a truck a dumper a van a matador a taxi a auto come on chachu i crashed into a taxi what did you do then i did not do anything the Uh, mr khurana was going by mr khurana picked me up with the help of some friends and took me to the doctor which doctor did you go to i went to mr jaiswal dr jaiswal oh dr jaiswal is the same fellow with dark thick hair no this jaiswal is all bald oh he must have become bald now what did he do he said he took uh, what x ray did he take how many rays did he take i said he took x ray y ray z ray gamma ray whatever ray Why are you asking so many questions? Why don't you ask how I am? Ramin, what did the X-ray show? The X-ray showed that I have got 32 stitches on my left arm and 22 stitches on my right arm, and my bum is fractured. Okay, and I have to be on bed rest for 20 days. Good. Your wife will be so happy that you are on bed rest, so that you cannot trouble her. Take care. Bye. See you. Good night. And you. Now I'll ring up my Chachi. I met with an accident. are you dead or alive 
Come on, Chachi. If I was dead, I wouldn't be talking to you, na? You're, you're alive, na? Good. Thank God. Thank God. You're alive. Be alive. Stay alive. Always be alive. Good night. Now, there are two extremes. My uncle will talk for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And my aunt will, my Chachi will talk only for two sentences or three sentences. So through the, this is of course an exaggeration just to create some humor, but through the process of dialogues, you can create uh, the character of a person, show him how he is, what his feelings are, how he thinks, how he would react to a particular situation. Then there is something called, uh, about these dialogues, I also want to add one more thing that uh, my wife uh, loves to talk. So she will be going in the train. Within five minutes, she start talking to somebody. The lady next to her, find out which, which village she is from, <coughs> how many children she has, what the children are doing. Bachon ki shadi nahi hui, kip shadi ho gai, to kaha shadi hui, bachon ki kitne bachche hain, nursery mein kitne maaks aai hain, everything she is from. So one day I entered her room, my room, bedroom, and I found she, she is talking to somebody for 40 minutes. Now I was feeling very jealous, Mr. Kurana. My wife is so beautiful and she's talking to somebody for 40 minutes. I was feeling very jealous. After that, I asked her, ever told me to know no? in Telugu? With whom are you talking? So I said, how do I know it was the wrong number? So can you imagine anybody talking to a wrong number for 40 minutes? But seriously, she won't talk to a wrong number, but she talks, likes to talk to people. I don't like to talk to people. Only because Mr. Kurana with that lovely t-shirt is talking to me and talking so much. Otherwise, I don't talk. My father also was like that. So these are the people who are extroverts, who are happy-go-lucky types, who would love to chat. My son is like Amitabh Bachchan, angry young man. You ask him 10 questions, he'll reply only to one question. Be very, very sure. And that to WhatsApp. How are you, Mita? How are you feeling now? That you were a bit sick, you had a cough, you had cold. I'm okay. That's it. So like that, different people, different dialogues, different temperaments. Now we move to language. Language also tells you about the character. For instance, Mr. Kurana, if you have a professor of physics coming into your studio for an interview, will he say something like this? Hey, Kurana, hi, man, yo, you're a real cool guy, yeah? Let's have some, let's jam, yeah? Wow. Let's go to Sita Bali and have some Buddha Pao. 75 year old professor of physics. Similarly, if you have an eight-year-old brother and you are asking him something, you're asking him, uh, his name is Naveen. Hey, Naveen, how are you? So will he talk to you like this? While promulgating your esoteric computations and articulating superficial sentimental and psychological observations, beware of platitude in this city. He won't talk like Shashi Tarur, no? He won't talk like this, so many words. So similarly, when you're giving a dialogue, when you're using a language, make sure that the language suits the character. It should not be too high sounding. It should completely, absolutely suit the character. Now, I think I have got a two, three minutes. So let me just talk about my latest book. This book, it's called The Canine Chronicles. Now, this is a Labrador. He is my third child. I have a daughter, I have a son, and I have a Labrador. His name is Aryan. Mr. Kurana, is he handsome or not? If he's handsome, do like this twice. If he's very handsome, do three times. <laughs> so he's handsome, right? So this uh, Canine Chronicles, been published by Blue Pencil, one of the uh, most, how should I say, enterprising and reader-friendly and author-friendly publishers in the country. And uh, it is all about his story. So Aryan's story I have written in his words. The thoughts are his, the words are mine. And the setting is during COVID times. So what happened during COVID? Our, all our family members, uh, my wife and I, 50-year-old teenagers, my son and daughter, 25 and 29-year-old, very mature adults, we were all together along with Aryan. So what Aryan experienced during those times is what the story is all about. Now, normally, if uh, four people are in one single house, 
for 99 days you can express you can expect some chaos world war 3 hone wala hai jhagda hoga ye hoga wo hoga ye hoga ego problems honge but we had a whole lot of masti and maza and we enjoyed ourselves and we played ludo and scrabble we played antakshari we did a lot of teasing and taunting and leg pulling and most of all who enjoyed aryan why because he got three times the stuff of food to eat he got a whole lot of attention from everybody everybody wanted to pet him everybody wanted to hug him everybody wanted to give him a treat and so it was a blast for him the best days of his life but there was also some moments when there was some panic can i talk for another two minutes or do we take questions so i have some questions from the chat so uh, you can conclude in two three minutes and then i'll yeah, play i'll just the uh, two three minutes so one day what happened was uh, uh, mr khurana that this fellow was sleeping and dreaming about his girlfriend he has a girlfriend called priyambada aryan has a husband uh, has a girlfriend called priyambada so he was dreaming about her then suddenly he heard a loud noise and he woke up with a start he thought that the sky had fallen on his head or the washing machine had fallen on his head but then when he woke up and saw here and there he found the washing machine was very much there the sky also had not fallen but some sound was coming from the veranda he rushed to the veranda and there he found uh, his family members taking something or the other and beating the hell out of every steel vessel somebody is beating the bhavana somebody is beating the thali somebody is beating something else and his father who is the worst singer on planet earth he is trying to even sing a song so that was one moment he really got a bit scared so he went to his girlfriend priyambada priyambada was very smart you know like many girls are very very smart and he asked her priyambada what is happening has everybody gone mad then priyambada said modi's dadu has asked everybody to beat steel vessels to express solidarity with the people who are working the covid warriors and that's how he understood second time what happened was when they were discussing uh, priyambada and uh, aryan they were discussing about covid then priyambada told him that it is human beings who are responsible for covid not nature because human beings are not respecting nature and when covid happened all the many of the animals came out mr kurana i hope you remember leopards came out civets came out penguins came out pangolins came out deer came out they came out to the streets but without any violence nature is not the intruder man is the intruder the second lesson which this book not lesson the value it tries to share is when the things are the worst the best of us comes out when things are the worst the best nature of us comes out and thirdly that your generation mr kurana should remember that you are not the owners of environment you are the custodians of environment you are borrowing the environment from our generation and giving it to the other generation so this is the what the book is about and the entire proceeds of this book will go to an organization called care which takes care of animal rescue in uh, bengaluru i will not get even 1 rupee or 1 paisa out of it everything is going for caring animals apart from uh, uh, dogs or canines all the other animals who need to be rescued and uh, taken care of the book is available on amazon i'm sure the viewers would love to buy the book uh, read it and have a great time finally 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 please don't call canines dogs if you remember in hindi movies they always say kutte kamine tera khoon pi jaunga je kutte ki maut marunga kutta ab ek gali ho gayi hai dog is a form of an abuse so i call them guppies or grown up puppies so mr kurana please remember and spread the word there are no dogs in the world all we have are guppies grown up puppies thank you whatever you said is very much true for today's generation i believe we are just disrupting the natural habitat which is not good 
uh, as you mentioned. So, so with this, I, I'd like to take some questions from the chat. Uh, the first question is, how does, uh, what inspired you to write the story of Arjun the Tiger? Oh, that, uh, I, mean, I wanted to basically uh, uh, write about, uh, you know, some people have obsession with some things. Like some people have obsession with the uh, hairstyle or some people have obsession with clothes. So I wanted to write that any kind of obsession is bad. Don't be obsessed about anything. Good looks or language or uh, st hairstyle or anything. And I wanted to put it in a context of a jungle because that will have more fun. You know, a tiger, uh, you know, like a dominating wife, uh, a tigress and a tiger, like a very submissive husband. Then you have Tabla Kumar and then you have a beautiful donkey and a handsome donkey. So to create that humor. But the basic value is this. Please don't obsess over anything. Okay, sure. The second question is, uh, how, how do you think storytelling is important for young children and teens? Uh, for them to learn or for, for us to tell them? So both ways. Both ways. Yeah, see, storytelling is extremely important because, uh, in, uh, see, first of all, when you are watching television, everything is out there. For instance, suppose I tell my son, once upon a time, there was a king who lived in Uttaranchal. Now there are, suppose I tell this to 40 children. All 40 children will imagine a different king. Some king will be tall, some king will be short, some will have whiskers, some will have sideburns, some will have a big throne. So there is a lot of scope for creativity and imagination. But if Mr. Purana, you and I are watching Chota Bheem, there is nothing to imagine. Everybody is, the Chota Bheem is the same for you and is the same for me. Only if you are, because you are a rich man, your TV is bigger. I'm a poor man, my TV is smaller. That's all. That is why creativity and imagination are important. And I would like to tell the parents especially, to tell stories to the children. Why? Because when you are telling stories, you are creating a kind of bonding. The child is sitting next to you. He is hearing your voice. He is listening to your words. Sometimes he's sitting on your lap. And then you are creating a kind of a very strong connect. That is why storytelling is so, so important, especially in today's world. Yes, sir, I, I totally agree with what you've said. And the last question uh, is, uh, how do you think one can build a strong and a very interesting story? Uh, and how do you build strong characters within a story? So I have mentioned something or the other, but see, most important uh, is that when you are writing a story, you should enjoy the story. If you are writing it to please somebody else, like some deadline is there, some topic is there, so you are writing, it will become a school assignment. You will never enjoy it, and if you don't enjoy it, it'll, it won't be effective. How do you create a good, strong character? Like I mentioned, the character should create empathy. Now, if I create a character, Mr. Kurana, you should be able to empathize with the character. You should, the character should be believable. Even in a fantasy, the character should be believable. Then the character should fit into the story. The plot should, uh, how should I say, should connect with the character. It shouldn't look like you put the, sometimes when you are in these, uh, this thing, you know, in these uh, films, they will say that, okay, let us have a fight sequence here. Let us have our item number here. You know, they put it zabardasti, forcefully. That should never happen with your character. Your character sh should flow with the narrative. The And most important is that the character should be memorable. After 20, 30 years also, people should remember, okay, that was a beautifully etched character. That character reminds me of somebody. Other character has uh, helped me learn a particular value. Like uh, for me in uh, Mahabharat, the most memorable character is not Arjun, it is Karan. Right? For me, because it, it, is, it is so strong and so believable. His feelings are so believable. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, uh, I think that was the last question from the chat. So, thank you so much for this amazing session on behalf of Foreign City Literature Festival. We sincerely express our gratitude towards your acceptance for the session and the knowledge you shared thank with you, us today. You.
Thank lastly, you. Thank I you so much. The, lastly, I th thank the audience for being an important part of this event. Hope, hope everyone has a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Samat Purana. It was great having you here. <laughs> thank you, sir. Yeah, and next time remember shake, 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 shake. Let's do it for the last thing. Shake, 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 23 educational institutes offering 137 courses. Rysoni Group of Institutions, a vision beyond.